Imagine the scenario where you put the wrong time zone when you first install FreeBSD. And as you can see from this example, the time zone should be BST for British Standard Time, but instead it's EDT. I selected the American one instead, by mistake. But not to worry. FreeBSD has its own built-in tools to fix this. TZ setup, and you can see it's in the user SBIN directory. That means it's part of the core system. You don't need to install it separately like you do on Linux. So all we need to do is just type in as root TZ setup for time zone setup. And you will see a familiar looking screen that you probably saw when you were installing FreeBSD first. Go through the steps again, but this time make sure that you select the right time zone. And for me, it's Europe and down to United Kingdom. There you go. BST is the one we want. Now, if we do the same test as we did at the beginning, using date, you can see it's changed to BST. So the time zone is now correct, as it should be. That's just a little handy little thing that FreeBSD allows you to do. And with the TZ setup being part of the core system, you don't need to install it later. Setting the time can seem daunting, and if your time is wrong, then you're going to get a whole host of problems. But we're going to use NTP, which is the Network Time Protocol. Using sudo, duas, or su, whichever preferred method you want, to get into root, you just need to issue sysrc ntp underscore enable equals yes, and that will put that into your rc.conf file. That tells the system to use NTP daemon and use sysrc ntpd sync on start. That means as soon as the machine starts up, put the correct time in. You can edit the ntp.conf and use servers which you want or leave it at the default where it will choose them automatically for a geographically close server to yourself. I usually leave it to default and it, it does fine. Now you can either reboot to sync the time which you could do if you want, or a better alternative is that you can start the service now by typing service ntpd start. And the next time you check the time, it should be correct. And then that's it. There's no magic involved, no clicking through cumbersome GUIs. This will do it for you. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.